So once I have the data in, I'm going to just start running some R commands. And the first thing I'm going to do is put names Y and run. And now you have the names of all the variables. And up in the top here, when you run a command here, if it has something like this or it's going to output numbers, those, those are going to go up here. If it, you're making a graph, that's going to go down in the lower right panel. I do this quite frequently, just put names Y so I can recall re pretty quickly what the names are. R is case sensitive, so you can see here I have all caps. That means whenever I refer to a variable, I'll have to use all caps. Since, since I've attached Y, those are in the data set. And I'm going to start with just summary Y, just summarize the whole data set. And this is going to give you a five number summary plus the mean. And you can see. I'm working on my small screen computer. And now, now you can see for each variable, you get the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the mean, the third quartile, and the max for each variable in the data set. It didn't have the standard deviation, so I'm going to do SD. And for, let's say, for just now you have to name a variable. I think, let's just try if we can do the whole data set. No, nope, I didn't think so, but it's worth it try there. So if I want to get price, there's the standard deviation of price. Um, length is the command for sample size. And run. So there's your sample size. There's a lot of other commands you could use there. And for now, that gives us what we need here. I usually skip some lines here. And I'm going to do a box plot. Well, let's do a histogram first, just histogram price. Of course, if you're doing this for every variable in the data set, you would just change the name of from price to square feet or whatever other variable you want to um, get some basic statistics for. So histogram price run, and you'll see we have a histogram over here. Here's a box plot. and run. There's a box plot. While I'm right here, if you want to bring this into a Word document, you just need to go over here and hit export, copy the plot to, a, to the clipboard, copy it. You can either use a bitmap or a meta file, copy it, and then in the normal way, just right click and paste into a into the Word when you get there. Or Control-V will do the same thing.